can see it already sounds way different. What is up with my hair today? All right, so there are a couple of companies that are getting a bad rap for their plugins right now. We have all heard of the Kyle Beach Drip plugin because it's been on every single video that we ever watched on YouTube, and it's got a lot of mixed reviews. I mean, we've all heard the meme of a two clicks and it's perfect. We've heard it so much, I'm not even gonna put it in this video. It is perfect. <laughs> Literally two clicks. Okay, I'm sorry, just that one time, I swear. And then on the other hand, we have the new Cymatics line of plugins coming out, like Diablo, Vortex, and Pluto. And for some reason, I feel like Cymatics gets a whole bunch of smack just for because of who they are. I feel like if you give away free stuff, then people are bound to hate you. I don't, I don't, I don't know why. So with all that being said, I thought it'd be a really fun idea to go in and pit these two plugins up against each other. The Kyle Beats Drip plugin versus the Cymatics Pluto Effects plugin. Now both plugins are claiming to do the same thing here by blending your guys' melodies together by using multiple different effects in the same plugin. So today we're going to find out if one is better than the other or if you just skip both of them completely. All right, so let's get into the very first plugin versus battle. I don't know if that's what I want to call this series, but it's, it's, it's okay. First of all, I do want to say that I have no problems with either one of these parties here. I'm a huge Cymatics fanboy and I always have been. And I started watching Kyle Beats when I first started producing and he's an amazing producer and probably an even better content creator. That being said, this should be a bloody battle. Let's get into it. So I've got two instances here of Keyscape open just on the same old grand piano. And I'm going to be going over to my melody pack over here, which is not yet released, but it should be soon. And grab some MIDI and put it on the first one right there. And now I'm just going to be going over here and dragging out some of the notes so they're not stabs anymore. And here's what we have now. I probably need headphones. <laughs> All right, but just for fun, let's go ahead and start building some chords. It really shouldn't be that difficult here. Just something like this, I think should be fine. So the melodies are sounding pretty solid, but they don't have any effects on them right now, and they can have a whole lot of work done to them. All right, so I've got both of these instruments right here onto some mixer channels, onto a maxer. <laughs> What's a maxer? And then both of those onto a mixer bus over on number six, where we will add our Pluto plugin and our Drip plugin. All right, so the first test is going to be all about the presets, and I am very familiar with the Pluto plugin. I did do a video on it a little while ago when it first came out, and honestly, my favorite factory preset in here is going to be underneath lo-fi and ambient. Let's hear how all that sounds now. You can see it already sounds way different. The one thing that I noticed is that it's really sucking out a lot of the uh, the low end. But it does make it sound a whole lot more ambient with only really using the reverb right here. Let's go through a few other presets right here. I don't want to go through one that wouldn't really be fair. Let's try some more in the reverb category. Cathedral sounds pretty big. I was right. <laughs> All right, now let's go and try something in like the delay category. Very subtle delay. Is he just filling up the space, not doing anything too crazy there? You start to really hear that one poke out a little bit more. All right, now let's go and try out something in the effects. Those are gonna be like the really weird ones that uh, don't always work out the way that you thought that they would. Start like Lotus. I actually do like where this one sounds already. It has like that. Uh, what is it over here? It's the phalanger. That's what it is making that really whooshy noise. All right, so that's going to be a few of the presets from the Pluto plugin, and I've gotta say, I really enjoy using this plugin. And I don't really use a whole lot of like super fancy plugins. Like I'd rather just find the plugins that do the basics very well. Like I use FabFilter Pro R for my reverb. I use Fruity Delay 2 for all my delay needs. But as far as a multi-effects plugin, this one is very solid. And just for now, I was liking the way that the uh, lo-fi ambient one was sounding, so we'll go and leave it there for now. But we'll now be turning off the Pluto plugin and putting on the Drip plugin finally. Let's just go through some of the presets here. As you will notice, a whole lot less presets, which is okay as so long as they're, you know, decent. Gonna try out Apex. It's just, it just sounds empty, you know? But that's only one preset, so I don't want to judge it too quickly. All right, so here, just by clicking a preset and hoping it'll work, um, no. <laughs> the one thing that I have noticed, and we'll go a little bit more in depth with the, uh, the features that it offers a little bit later on, but a lot of these uh, presets, you have to play with the time knob to fit your, your BPM because it is not synced, which is an extreme bummer. And uh, I don't know how you can't have a BPM synced delay. That's just 101. You can decrease how much the overall is right there. Blend a little bit more and that this sound pretty good. But I'm not liking the heat that's coming up over here. See, again, the time is just completely not there. Yeah, that one's just unusable for me. This one could be a pretty cool effect if you decrease the overall. 
Sounds okay. And again, there's no sort of categorization here. So it's all just kind of clicking one and hoping that whatever it is is fine. And I do want to say right here, this is my opinion. I know that a lot of people might enjoy that sort of effect, but for me personally, I just can't find any sort of instrumentation that I would use to have that in a beat that I'm making. All right, so lo-fi, right? Lo-fi is very good with like keys and stuff like that. So let's go and try to see how this one works. Again, I can you might be into that effect, but it's spinning way too quickly. All right, so we've gone through a good amount of the presets here. There's not too many more. You should be able to see a theme here. Um, I'm just not a fan of the presets on this plugin. Just for what this plugin is claiming to be, which is two clicks and it's perfect, because all the presets just sound like it's way too over the top, and I just a lot of them are unusable for me personally. It's claiming to be something that you plug and play, and it just does not seem to be that way for me. All right, so with that being said, let's go back into the Pluto plugin. The one thing I will say about the uh, the Cymatics plugins is that sometimes it will take a second to actually load up, and it could crash. Like even this right here looks weird, it's tearing the screen. All right, so this part of the video is going to be all about going over a lot of the effects and features that the plugins have. All right, so now there are no effects being added here and I just want to go in here and see what I can do by not using any presets at all. And I gotta say, as far as delay goes, this one is just infinitely times more intuitive. I think intuitive is the right word. Yeah. Uh, so here I can actually hit the time sync right there and it'll actually do it for me, depending on what my BPM is, or I can uncheck it and have it more in milliseconds, which I'm not a huge fan of milliseconds, so I'm gonna go back to time. Or you can go down to granular delay, which is something completely different. Now, uh, granular delay is really cool, and not a whole lot of plugins do that. The only one that I can really think of that is really popular is going to be the Portal plugin. But I do want to end up using this reverb tab over here, so I'm actually going back to tape delay. And I usually like a nice little, like, one-fourth. Very subtle, nothing crazy. So I want to make room for this reverb right here. Which, again, more features here. You have this one right here, so your normal reverb. Or you can go over here and hit the shimmer reverb, which you can change the pitch of the actual reverb itself which I always love pitching it up. All right, now for the drip plugin over here. Now, to my knowledge, there is no way to actually go back to the initiate, um, so you actually have to, <laughs> I have to go ahead and delete the plugin and then bring it back if I want the initial without any effects on it. All right, so the only thing that I think is pretty cool here is that you have the names of the effects right here of the presets, and then over here, you can actually change them to this specific preset knob like there was over in the Apex. You can choose that one right there, which I just realized I've got to close the plugin now because I click an actual preset. Okay, one second, please. There really should be an initial one, I'm just saying. I do like the clay shape. Definitely not. Big time sounds pretty good. I believe death is like reverb, right? Whoa. Alright, that actually does sound really good. Honestly, I kind of liked it. I think if, if I'm just going in here and adding my own effects here, and hopefully, can you save presets by any chance? It does not look like it. But you can go over here and add your own presets like that, but that's, you know, different. So by having complete control over all the knobs, you can actually do some pretty cool things inside of the Drip plugin by not worrying about the presets, which again is its claim to fame. <laughs> Even with that being said, I still had much more control and much more features and options to go through knowing what everything did inside of the Cymatics Pluto plugin. And the reason for that is, I mean, just look at them. Okay, what is shape? Okay, I found out that it's something a little bit more like a wow filter, but why wouldn't you just say that? Heat is gonna be distortion, which does, you don't get at all over here. But again, you could just say that it's distortion. And then over here, spice. Looking at all of this, it's so not user-friendly. Where here, it's like, oh, this is a wow filter. Okay, great. Mod effects, what kind of mods? Phaser, flanger, oh, perfect, okay. The frequency range, delay, I know what delay is. Reverb, oh, shimmer reverb, I've never heard of that before. Let me try that out. Oh, I love it, okay. So I gotta say another point to the Pluto plugin. And here, I know that it just sounds like I'm trying to bash the drip plugin but I promise you that going through and knowing these plugins as well as I do, it's not even a contest. All right, now that I do have one final test and that's going to be making a full beats and then using only these plugins to spice up my melodies. So the only way to do that is just by making beats.
We'll make a quick one today, nothing crazy. I do want to EQ out some of the, the low end in my chords though, just because I don't want my 808s to be interfering with that. Also, I got my MIDI keyboard set up again, so I can actually start using that one for recording again. Let's turn everything down a little bit, huh? Make some room. So again, without any effects on it at all. Whoops. Oh, that's nice. Yep, okay, so I actually clicked the Pluto plugin and it almost froze my entire DAW. That is one thing to mention. Again, quick beats, guys. Nothing crazy right now. Just wanna show you guys what we can do. All right, I'm actually gonna go mix this very quickly, just do my levels correctly off camera because I can't really hear anything with these headphones on, but I'll be right back. All right, so I just got finished with fixing the mix right here. A little bit of arrangement here. Gonna go ahead and do something like, get rid of those at the very end. All oh, that's good. Four bar right there. Have some 808s going probably. Get rid of all of this. Bring that back, sorry. You know what, there, we got a freaking beat, done. First of all, tear out sounds with the drip plugin on. So my CPU is going to die. <laughs> All right, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and let the Pluto version rock out for the ending right here. Before I let you guys go though, I gotta say, presets are better on the Pluto plugin and you get so many more features on the Pluto plugin. Um, let you guys know the secret, I don't like drip that much. It's okay. It's fine, you know, it's not terrible, but it's definitely not two clicks and it's perfect. It's not, it's not what it claims to be. You can make it work if you finesse it a little bit, but it's never going to be one preset and you're golden. It's just not gonna be that way. And yes, I guess you could say that I'm a little bit biased because Cymatics does send me their plugins for free, but I promise you that it's not the reason why I'm picking the Pluto plugin over the Drip plugin. It's just not. I wholeheartedly believe in the plugin and I think it'd be a great purchase if you guys are looking to expand on your guys' melodies and spice them up just a little bit more. All right, so enjoy the beat on the way out. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. All right, I am finally done with this. <laughs>